at yet another edition of Prato's YouTube live session with doctors. Thank you for joining us today as we are set to discuss one of the most talked about topics in the second wave of COVID-19, the black and white fungus. I am Dr. Ajay Alexander, head of the medical team at Prato and your host for today's live session. A rare but dangerous fungal infection, which is black fungus or otherwise known as mucormycosis has affected nearly 12,000 patients who are recovering or have recovered from COVID-19 infection in India. This is causing enormous concern and panic in the midst of a ravaging second wave. People suffering from diabetes are found to be more susceptible to the fungal infection after a bout of COVID. It affects a patient's nose, eye, and sometimes the brain. Although fewer in number compared to black fungus, cases of white and yellow fungus have also been detected in the country lately. To know more about the mysterious black and white fungus, this, it, their causes, symptoms, and treatment, we have amongst us our distinguished panelist, Dr. Ashish Bumkar. He's an ENT, microtia, and atresia surgeon with more than 30 years of experience. Dr. Ashish is the only ENT surgeon in the world who does external ear, middle ear, and inner ear surgeries. He also specializes in surgeries for deaf children, apart from Baha and bone bridge surgery. Currently, Dr. Bumkar is conducting surgeries to cure mucormycosis along with his medical team at Sri Mahavir Jain Hospital in Thane, Maharashtra. So far, he has done 17 surgeries. If you have any questions uh, during this session, please feel free to put them down in the chat. We will be addressing them during or after the session. Yes, Dr. Bumkar, uh, we would like to have a quick introduction from you. Yes. Yeah. Thank you, Ajay. Thank you. Yes. Yes, you're right. This is uh, currently top of the mind, the black fungus. And uh, there is a lot of talk about the other colors, but honestly, they are quite irrelevant and more of a hype in the media. The real concern here should be mucormycosis, because that is what is actually affecting people and uh, causing them a lot of hardships to say yes. this. Yes, sir. So, so many of them have, uh, you know, the very first question that comes to mind is what is black fungus and what is white, white fungus? If you can just throw some light, doctor, it'll really help to set the context for the audience. Yeah. Nothing in, nothing in life is black and white. Everything is a shade of gray. And so also this, but this is just for convenience that the media and to connect with the common man to explain. First of all, the fungus is not black in color. What it does to the human body, it causes necrosis of the tissue. And that looks black. When necrosis meaning, uh, when the fungus goes, it stops the blood supply in that particular small area. When, when the tissue does not get blood supply, it dies. And when it dies, it turns from white to black. And and that tissue, that is how it has got the name black fungus. The fungus, if you see under the microscope, is not black in color. Similarly, there is a white fungus, which we all know of. And there were two uh, distinct types, which used to come in the mouth. People who are grossly sick, you know, candidiasis, people know. There are different types of fungal infections, which come at the back of the ear, in your groin. So these were, because they cause whitish coloration of the discoloration of the pink lining, they were termed as white. But I don't think we should like go into the white. Very rare types of white deer, the things cause uh, in a very few patients some serious problems. But currently, I think we need to bring our focus to black fungus because of what it does to the human body. Sure. Thank you for setting the context, Doctor. But see, uh, we all know, right? In in uh, especially in dermatology, you know, a lot of people come with fungal infections, and uh, it's a very common thing, you know, that we find in. Uh, as uh, you know, uh, various funguses which are available, you know, uh, that people encounter. So, what is that? That is very different uh, between uh, um, between black fungus and this or any other type of fungus. 
Yeah, very rightly said, Ajay. In fact, we are in a tropical country and we are at the brink of a monsoon. So a lot of you know moisture and humidity in general. This is not about black fungus. So we all know during uh, uh, monsoon, people get a little bit of fungal infection in their ears, in in any area of the body that tends to be moist. But these were the benign funguses where you apply a two or three days of uh, an antifungal solution and they go away. Black fungus is a very peculiar fungus which actually enters your bloodstream. Now, this fungus, this mucormycosis, this spores in a spore form, it is present in the air. Now that you and I are talking and every breath that we take, these mucormycosis spores, they enter your nose for all of us. But our defense mechanism does not allow it to germinate. But let me, if I, I'm supposed to be speaking also in Hindi, the black fungus ke jo spores hai, they are present. Har, har vakkat apan usko saas mein le rahe. Har ek jan. Aap aur hum roh 24 ghanta janam se, kyunki ye sab jaga pe hai. Aisa nahi ki koi diwar pe hai, ye sab jaga pe hai. Magar hum saas lete, magar apne ko wo bimari nahi karta hai. Kyunki jaisa beej hum pathar pe dalenge, to wo koi pauda ugega nahi. To beej ko koi ek kisim ka soil lagta hai, kisim ki mitti lagti hai. अगर तुम्हारे शरीर में वो मिट्टी बन जाती है मतलब कुछ बदलाव आते हैं और ये कोविड में ये बदलाव आने लगे लोगों में कुछ लोगों में सभी लोगों में नहीं लाखों लोगों को कोविड होगा है मगर कुछ हजार लोग हैं जिनको ये म्यूकॉर का तो सबसे पहले डरने की जरूरत नहीं है कोविड हो गया मतलब मुझे म्यूकॉर हो जाएगा ऐसा इसका गणित नहीं है तो जो क्या बदलाव है इसके बारे में आई एम श्योर वी विल डिस्कस दिस वॉट इज इट दैट चेंजेस दैट मेक्स अ पर्सन prone to catching a black fungus uh, do you wish me to elaborate on that yes sir uh, so when um, so many people uh, you know have this question what does immunocompromise mean right i think that is exactly the reason why you know um, you know uh, people get into this space so if it will be great if you can elaborate a little bit more on that yes sir yeah this this immunity from the time covid i think the general public has become semi doctors ultra doctors quasi doctors whatever everybody knows now too many medical terms and immunity is something which honestly the best of the doctors and the best of the scientists understand very little about because it is a complex force of life that actually keeps us alive you know uh, there is something called as a microbiome which means you as a person actually in you there is only one of your cell and there are nine other bacteria and fungus which actually makes you so you live in an equilibrium with the outside world with hundreds of thousands of bacteria fungi viruses which actually give you health so just like we know there are 400 different types of gut friendly bacteria these are the bacteria which you need if you take an antibiotic you land up with loose motions because those antibiotics destroy the gut friendly bacteria which actually help you digest the food we all know this so immune system is the one why we are alive otherwise we would have caught all kinds of infections and we would have been dead so understanding immunity in a very basic thing is the one which is a defense the army military navy police uh, border all these things which are there in our body which keep keep the external uh, bacteria from destroying us that is immunity Now, immunity is not something simple like a payphone. कि एक जिंक का टैबलेट डाल दिया चालू हो गया. ये कैसा है? People have wrongly assumed vitamin C खाओ तो immunity बढ़ गई. It's not a charging phone. ये डालो plug, वो डालो plug. It is very very complex. And I think, but it was something that people wanted to proactively do. I understand everybody wants to think he or she is in control of things and doing something good. So immunity is very very complex. what is happening in covid and especially this new strain it was not in the first strain it is doing something to this defense mechanism i don't think we as doctors or as scientists or as anybody is actually understanding what is happening what it is doing and we observed from the where in context of mucor in terms of context of the black fungus is it is doing something to your sugar control in the body बॉडी का शुगर मैकेनिज्म जो रहना चाहिए जिसको पहले भी डायबिटीज नहीं है कोविड होने से पहले उसको भी अचानक कोविड के वो पंद्रह दिन में शुगर 200 400 चार सौ पांच सौ तक जा रही है ये बदलाव 
बहुत लोगों को आता है मगर सभी को ये उससे तकलीफ नहीं होती है सो दिस इज वेयर इन द कॉन्टेक्स ऑफ म्यूकॉर द इम्यून डिसरेग्युलेशन आई वॉन्ट टू कॉल इट नॉट इम्यूनो कॉम्प्रोमाइज बट आई वॉन्ट टू कॉल बिकॉज कॉम्प्रोमाइज कम्स इन डिफरेंट इट केम इन एच आई बी वेर द इम्यूनिटी इज डाउन एंड पीपल हु आर ऑन you know long term steroids for everything compromise is a subdued i think it is getting skewed there's an immune dysfunction which is like where mucor is concerned too much sugar in your body and jaisa mai bolta hu jab hi aapke sharir ka shakkar ki goni ban jati hai instead of the normal so this is a heightened state of hyperglycemia and in this heightened state of hyperglycemia at a simplistic level people know there are red blood cells in the blood in this red blood cell there is an iron when the sugar level goes up this iron starts getting released in the blood and when there is free iron in the blood this is the time that mucor mycosis pore that you breathe that can usko wo mitti milti hai to jo sugar coated iron kisi kisi ke blood mein banta hai that is the mitti and that is where the black fungus ka pauda aata hai this is what uh, it is i think you have given a wonderful take home message it's immuno dysfunction not immuno compromise it's a beautiful uh, way of explaining this doctor thank you so much so uh, when you mention sorry i want to say it is also temporary yes sir yeah. temporary you know i mean body takes care body the life force is immense we don't understand but it takes care of itself unfortunately in some people it takes little longer and that's when they are vulnerable yes doctor so you mentioned about steroids right um, you know influencing or being one of the reasons why um, you know mucor mycosis is you know uh, affecting a certain uh, people so we see in uh, uh, in certain cases of covid you know uh, we are giving steroids for the patient to stabilize them right or to improve their oxygenation uh, what is the actual role in steroids sir uh, is it and why is it focused on a very small set of people rather than everybody you know the majority of the patients who are taking steroids so steroid actually is a very very life saving drug when used appropriately in terms of the timing and the dosage it has magical well making you feel good any inflammation in the body it quickly the most powerful anti inflammatory agent kahin pe bhi sharir mein sujan hai तो उसको एकदम जल्दी में जल्दी काबू में लाने के लिए स्टीरोइड का इस्तेमाल होता है मगर कोई भी सूजन के लिए उसका इस्तेमाल करना बराबर नहीं है तो स्टीरोइड एक बहुत गंदा वर्ड इट बिकेम अ बैड वर्ड फॉर ऑल द थिंग्स इवन व्हेन यू हैव टू राइट अ स्टीरोइड इन योर डे टू डे प्रैक्टिस फॉर वेरी मेडिकली वैलिड रीजन लॉट ऑफ पेशेंट स्टीरोड नहीं चाहिए जैसा कि वो ज्यादा जानते हैं डॉक्टर कम जानता है स्टीरोइड मत दो आप क्या जहर दे रहे हो ऐसा नहीं है uh, in covid we know this whole game of covid and severe and death is all about oxygen so doctors were very right in choosing the steroid as a as a drug to save your life unfortunately steroid ka side effect known side effect is wo sugar ko crazy kar deta hai even when you give a oral steroid for 2 and 5 days the sugar can go to 300 350 but द मोमेंट दो स्टीरोड का इफेक्ट कम हो गया ये शुगर लेवल अपने आप कम हो जाती है प्री कोविड टाइम्स में तो इतना ध्यान डॉक्टर ने दिया नहीं और देना देना भी नहीं चाहिए क्योंकि कुदरती तौर पे कोई आज आज आपने दो गोली खाई है तो एक दो दिन शुगर ज्यादा हो जाएगी और अपने आप नीचे आ जाती थी प्री कोविड में ये कोविड में जैसे मैंने बोला कोई डिसरेग्युलेशन हो गया है शरीर में ये ऊपर जाती है और ऊपर ही रहती है कुछ दिनों के लिए उसके लिए भी वी वर नॉट वरीड कि चार दिन आठ दिन के बाद आ जाएगी नीचे न, नहीं आ जाएगी तो गोली देंगे या इंसुलिन देंगे तो इसमें थोड़ा सा गड़बड़ हो गया कि इसने भी अपने को मौका नहीं दिया है कि दस दिन के लिए शुगर हाई रहेगी तो कुछ नुकसान नहीं है तो रोज एवरी डे वी हैव टू पेशेंट टू गेट्स कोविड एवरी डे ही और शी हैज टू चेक द शुगर द डॉक्टर्स विल चेक इट एंड इवन इफ यू हैव टू गिव अ स्टीरोड टू सेव देर लाइफ टू इम्प्रूव देर ऑक्सीजनेशन along with it you have to control the sugar by taking either a tablet or a medicine so that is the new way forward steroid nahi lena chahiye aisa nahi hai zarurat padi to steroid lena hai uske sath sath uske sugar ko control karna hai to ye black fungus ka mamla is not steroid centric it is sugar centric keep your sugar under control below 180 no black fungus 
Understood, sir. So some of the you know biggest. Thoda, I want to say something. Yes. Thoda sa, thoda sa, ek uh, scenario special aisa ho gaya. Kyunki steroid se jaan bachti hai, to dhire dhire koi koi doctors ki medical soch hoti hai. Arey kyu ruke jab tak patient kharaab ho jaye ya kyu ruke jab hi kharaab pehle se de dalte ki prevention karte jaldi se jaldi de dete. Galti udhar thi. So the mistake because steroids don't prevent the inflammation from coming it only treats the inflammation when it is present agar sujan hai to usko kam karega kyunki aap steroid kha rahe karke aapki sujan nahi aayegi aisa nahi hai jaisa hum dolo ya crocin ki goli khayegi to agar bukhar hai to apna temperature niche aata hai bukhar nahi aur aapne goli khayi to aap thande nahi ho jate to koi dawai ko kaam karne ke liye uska agar takleef hai to hi wo kaam karti hai this somewhere people went a little wrong and it went into a preventive rather than a therapeutic mode and then you know because of the scale they some at uh, some other places i uh, this thing ghar mein panch log khana khane aa rahe to aap barabar taiyari karte wo panch ki jagah 50 aa gaye to kya hoga yahi problem doctors ka aur hospitals ka ho gaya ye jo uh, planning ka jo ye hota hai fir upar niche namak uh, mirchi kam zyada hone wali hai ये टाइप का क्योंकि पांच पचास लोग नहीं आए पांच के हिसाब से पांच सौ लोग आ गए सो द सो द सिस्टम स्टार्टेड टू वॉबल अ लिटिल बिट एंड देन कोलैटरल डैमेज स्टार्टेड टू हैपन सो स्टीरोइड पर से इज अ वंडरफुल मैजिकल क्यूरेटिव ड्रग बट इट्स यूज हैज टू बी जुडिशियस यस सो व्हाट वी आर सीइंग नाउ डॉक्टर इज मेनी पीपल आर शेयरिंग प्रिस्क्रिप्शंस एस्पेशली ड्यूरिंग you know uh, uh during covid times uh, one member in the house is having covid they receive the prescription they try to copy it right uh, if they are also infected do you have a message uh, for them especially if there is a steroid involved in it right and they have started it by mistake do you have any preventive measures that you can suggest or any other advice that you can you know give for such uh, patients ekdam seedha simple thing everybody has their own unique fingerprint correct in the same way everybody has their unique biochemical print har ek ghar mein khana sab wohi khate hai do roti koi khata hai to kisi ka vajan nahi badhta hai kisi ka vajan badhta hai to har ek sharir wohi cheez ko alag alag tarike se behave karta hai so ye ye bahut important hai life mein otherwise you all have been robots if wohi a b c d karke sabko p q r hota tha to life ka maza hi nahi tha everything would have been so we are unique in our chemistry in our thinking in our being so you cannot generalize human beings are still human beings products of god nature whatever you believe we are not robots so ye 1 2 3 4 karke ye 5 5 6 7 hone wala ye galat hai to har ek ko soch aana chahiye ki doctor ko soch aana chahiye aisa nahi ki doctor bahut bade ye unki wo speciality hai unhone wo training liya hua hai so they know that much more जैसा कोई भी डॉक्टर को मैं पूछता हूँ अभी घर में तेरा इलेक्ट्रिसिटी जाएगा तो फ्यूज बदली कर सकता है क्या तो नहीं कर सकता है क्योंकि उसमें ही इज नॉट ट्रेंड या प्लम्बिंग की लाइन टूट जाएगी तो क्या करेगा वो बेचारा इमरजेंसी कॉल करेगा प्लम्बर को तो हर एक चीज का एक एक्सपर्टीज होता है उसका एक उसकी एक औकात होती है और उसका एक दर्जा होता है उस चीज का अपने को फायदा लेने का है तो डॉक्टर ने उसकी पढ़ाई की है तो वी हैव टू आस्क द डॉक्टर ये चीज मैं करूँ कि नहीं दिस इज वॉट सो डू नॉट डू नॉट take medication without medical supervision more so in covid halaki covid ke upar apne paas dawai nahi hai magar uske jo side effects aur ye jo ho rahe ye apne ko zarur talne hai thank you doctor so self medication is the worst thing to do in covid that's a take home message for all the audience yes doctor so um which i add one thing yes doctor and please keep only one doctor in charge The bigger epidemic now is consulting ten doctors. Ye report isko bejo do, wo report bejo do. WhatsApp. Mujhe isne ye bola, ye doctor wo bola. Khichdi mat karo. I say choose your intelligence and all your resources in trying to find your doctor. But one bar doctor ko apne chun liya, fir usme na dakhlanda zee nahi karo. Then trust him or her and follow his or her. Otherwise, a medicine kisi aur ka lete, b kisi ka lete, fir c side effect kisi ko bolte. it becomes very difficult for a doctor because doctor does not know that you are also taking b wali ka goli 
तो एक ही डॉक्टर चूज करो वो चूज तुम्हारे बुद्धि से करो नो प्रॉब्लम बाद में बुद्धि मत लगाओ अंडरस्टूड यस डॉक्टर सो म्यूकोर माइकोसिस विच आर दर्गन दट दे प्राइमरली एफेक्ट डॉक्टर एंड वाई इज इट लिमिटेड टू दो सो म्यूकॉर एक्चुअली ये कोविड वाला म्यूकॉर जो है ना ये नाक ये कोविड भी सला नाक से प्यार में हो गया ये भी अपने शरीर में नाक से जाता है ये म्यूकॉर भी नाक से ही जा रहा है कुछ तो है नाक में जो इनको एंट्री दे रहा है या गेटवे बन गया इनका तो ये जाता है नाक से एंड करंटली ये म्यूकॉर अपने नाक से साइनस में जाता है और साइनस का करीबी नेबर इज द आई सो वेरी क्विकली इट कैन गो टू द आई Unfortunately, the eye and the brain are separated also by just टू थ्री मिलीमीटर्स का बोन तो उसमें से वो किसी किसी को बहुत कम मात्रा में ब्रेन में जा सकता है जैसा यहाँ से नाक में से साइनस साइनस में से आंख और आंख में से ब्रेन ये ऊपर की दिशा में किसी को जाता है किसी को नीचे की दिशा में जाता है नाक में से साइनस और साइनस में से दात या अपने मसूड़ो या और हार्ड पैलेट These are the two distinct pathways. It tends to go, of course, किसी किसी में सब जगह जाता है मगर अक्सर वो नाक से लेके ऊपर या नाक से लेके नीचे ऐसा जाता है अभी ये अपने खून से दौड़ता है इट एंटर्स योर ब्लड स्ट्रीम एंड ट्रेवल्स थ्रू द ब्लड वेसल्स और एक खास बात इसकी है इसलिए दैट इज वाई इट इज सो डेंजरस एज इट ट्रेवल्स इन द ब्लड वेसल जैसा आगे आगे जाता है उसके पीछे के रास्ते को वो पूरा बंद कर देता है so it starts blocking as it goes 2 cm ahead in the blood stream that 2 cm that it traveled it blocks it off completely and when the blood vessels get blocked the area of the tissue that they supply blood blood to wo area wo mar jati hai jaisa heart attack mein apna heart ka koi hissa mar jata hai some tissues die off and that is how it progresses iska problem ye hai kyunki wo rasta band ho jata hai हम कितनी भी दवाई खाए या इंजेक्शन ले वो दवाई वो फंगस तक पहुंचती नहीं है क्योंकि उसने पीछे का रास्ता बंद कर दिया है उसी रास्ते से दवाई को जाना है और इसी के लिए ये सर्जरी बहुत अहम छोटा मगर बहुत अहम पहला स्टेप है जब तक वो वो रास्ते खोलते नहीं है जैसा समझो हाईवे के ऊपर पत्थर गिर गए तो पुलिस जाएगी कैसे और चोर आ गया तो अनलेस यू क्लियर अवे द पत्थर ऑफ द रास्ता द पुलिस के नॉट गो एंड कैच द रॉबर so it's a surgery is only about clearing away the patthar and then the amphotericin has to go and kill the fungus it's a wonderful uh, example doctor <laughs> clearing the road for uh, the, oh, the medicine to chase the medicine. yeah yeah wonderful so one of our um, audience uh, uh, chandan kulkarni uh, mm-hmm. he has a question what are the common symptoms of black fungus and how will they know that they have black fungus सबसे पहले फर्स्ट थिंग इज द हाई रिस्क हु इज लाइकली टू गेट ब्लैक फंगस आई थिंक फर्स्ट यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस नॉट एवरीबडी दोज हु हैव नॉट एनीबडी गोइंग फॉरवर्ड नाउ एनीबडी हु हैज हैड कोविड सिक्स वीक्स अगो और वॉट एवर दे शुड हैव बीन ट्रैकिंग देयर ब्लड शुगर्स ऑन अ डेली बेसिस और एन ऑल्टरनेट बेसिस सबसे पहले जिनकी शुगर बहुत ज्यादा हाई रह चुकी है और कोई वजह से उसको कंट्रोल में नहीं लाया गया या कंट्रोल में नहीं आ गई नॉट ऑल डायबिटिक्स विल गेट म्यूकॉर ओनली व्हेन देयर इज अ हाइटेंड हाई शुगर इन द ब्लड व्हिच इज नॉट ट्रीटेड इफ इट इज ट्रीटेड एंड इट गोज अंडर 180 इनको होने वाला नहीं है सो आई वांट टू फर्स्ट डिफाइन दैट वेरी नैरो एंड दैट ऑल्सो हैपेंस फ्रॉम डे वन ऑफ कोविड एंड आई एम यूजिंग योर प्लेटफॉर्म टू एजुकेट पीपल आपके सिम्टम का जो पहला दिन है अगर आपको गले में तकलीफ हुई छोटा बुखार आया ये आपका कोविड का डे वन है रिपोर्ट जिस दिन किया जिस दिन आप एडमिट हो गए वो डे वन नहीं है सो so, वहां से गिनती शुरू होती है क्योंकि ये 14 डेज का वनवास जैसा चल रहा है ये तो फ्रॉम दैट डे टू अप टू 50 डेज इज द हाईएस्ट रिस्क जिनमें ये शुगर बहुत ज्यादा हाई रही है और जिसको कोई वजह से नीचे नहीं लाया गया सो इट इज ओनली दिस वेरी स्मॉल सेगमेंट commonest thing because it enters the nose and causes blood vessels to get blocked there is a certain element of dryness or a crust that forms wo ye kism ki khapli banti hai i i am from maharashtra in marathi we say lapleli khapli matlab wo jo khapli hai that crust is there it is deep inside it is not here in the 
entry deep inside a doctor has to put a small telescope to see it but this is again we are finding very probably only 50% of the people get this the best symptom to look for is agar aapko covid se pehle kabhi bhi sinus ka takleef nahi hua hai because people associate sinus ka takleef with a pain here pain in the head and this thing pehli baar agar aapko covid ke period mein sinus ka takleef shuru ho gaya to aapko thoda sa red flag uthana chahiye कॉमनेस्ट थिंग ये जो नाक के बाजू का जो चीख है अपना ये सुन हो जाता है एक किस्म का सुन पन आता है इफ यू टच वन साइड एंड दर साइड और यू कैन टेक अ स्मॉल कॉटन एंड यू नो ट्राई टू डू दिस इट विल बी रिलेटिवली लेस सेंसिटिव नम हो जाना ये बहुत कॉमन है दूसरा अराउंड दी आय डीप सीटेड पेन और डिस्कम्फर्ट दैट यू नेवर फेल्ड बिफोर हेड एक आता है लोगों को एक अजीब किस्म का हेड एक जो पहले के हेड एक से बहुत अलग है जिसके साथ दूसरा कुछ नहीं है नौशा नहीं वॉमिटिंग नहीं कुछ नहीं वो टाइप का हेड एक एंड इन एक्सट्रीम केसेस आई कैसे ये ऊपर जाने वाले म्यूकोर वाले जब भी नीचे जाते हैं तो दांतों में किसी किसी को लाइक वी हैड अ पेशेंट वो एप्पल चू नहीं कर सका हम उसको विको वज्र दंती वाला ये बोलने लगे कि यू ट्राई टू मसाज द गम्स एंड द गम्स फील लिटिल स्वोलन और दे स्टार्ट पेनिंग इन सम पेशेंट फॉर नो रीजन एट ऑल फॉर नो प्रीवियस डेंटल प्रॉब्लम now in this 50 days of covid the tooth suddenly starts to becoming loose this is when the blood supply of that tooth has gone away to uske aaju baaju ka jo bone usko pakad ke rakhta hai that becomes like a cookie and starts to crumble and the bone uh, the tooth simply falls off so these are the things that happen commonly i don't want to discuss the eye but the dangerous ones are eye the eyeball movements the eye cannot move शुरुआत सूजन आती है तो आंख हिलने के लिए लगाम होते हैं उसके वो लगाम में सूजन आती है तो आंख हिलना बंद हो जाता है और ये और ज्यादा चले गया तो कभी कभी किसी का आंख से दिखने को भी सो दे लूज विजन आल्सो बट दीज आर अगेन वेरी स्मॉल परसेंटेज अमंग द म्यूकॉर बट दिस इज वेयर द डेंजर कम्स इन यस सर सो दैट दैट इज नो वंडरफुल एंड दीज आर द सिम्टम्स दैट वन शुड लुक फॉर बट ओनली इन द हाई रिस्क ग्रुप Hi, this group. So, um, so there is, a, you know, as as clinicians, we always see that you know patients land up in our clinic very late, right? When do we? Which is the sweet spot, or when do you think is the ideal time for the patient to make a quick decision, saying that he is suspecting something or there is something going wrong, and they need to immediately come uh, to a physician or a doctor to for intervention? When do you think is the right time, sir? So, so now we have started identifying. It's not actually the ENT doctors. It is the COVID physicians are only started to identify these patients in whom the sugar regulation is going crazy. So they have been tagged as potential uh, this thing at discharge or on the 14th, 10th to 14th day. They are all theoretically at least supposed to get a nasal examination done. there is a little value because in that examination your ent doctor or whoever is the doctor will educate you about what to look for abhi ye koi suddenly aata hai aur dusre din aap andhe ho jate hai aisa nahi it gives you time two three days so once a week twice a week this high risk group should go to their local doctor consult him or her if easily possible go to an ent put that little telescope and look inside if everything is healthy or not to also like i said vajradanti wala palpate your gums like andar ye ungli dal ke feel that there is no pain no tenderness there and make sure of the list of the symptoms that i told that they don't exist so okay. once a week jiska bahut hi 500 saade 500 gaya usne shayad pehle do teen hafte he should go twice a week to a doctor and get himself for uh, this exam check okay so that's a wonderful uh, uh, you know example doctor because you know there is a lot of uh, anxiety for the patients to go out right because they are literally traumatized by the infection and the risks that they have gone through so many of them tend to stay back at home and not want to go to a doctor like they try to do a um, you know remotely try to you know adjust uh, you know and see how to it itself has taken such a toll of their physical and mental health so so i think it's a good advice for them to if you are a high risk patient with high glucose then you have to go once or twice you know or very frequently to a physician to check if there is an infection and then preventively catch it early just in case you are uh, 
affected. So, so I want to say just like now, because this is a city audience. Yes, sir. Just like the pulse oximeter became a part of every household, checking the glucose with the glucometer ha should become anybody who gets COVID, they should buy, invest, whatever you want to call it, and make sure that they check their sugars for the first 50 days. I would strongly recommend every day, but if not every day, at least twice a week or thrice a week. And make sure it is below 180 degrees, uh, 180 milligrams. milligrams. This is this is very, very important. The other message I want to use your platform, those who are already diabetics but still don't have COVID, please reach out to your physicians, please reach out to your diabetologist and make sure that your sugars are under in normal range. So that, God forbid, if you were to get COVID, your sugar dysregulation can be kept under control and something as dreadful as a mucor will never uh, uh, attack you. Yes, sir. So one of our... Um... You know, audience, uh, Afshan Fatima, she's asking, uh, what is the role of amphotericin nasal drops in patients with my mucor mycosis? Is there some role there? No role. no role. No role at all. There is nothing you can do. See, this uh, spore is not on the surface. It enters the tissue. And that is where it is. Exactly like COVID. So there was nothing. All the steam, like jo naak ka idli bana diya logon ne itna das bar steam leke and dim sums and momos. I used to say. So don't do this surface. The human, it's it's very human nature. Everybody likes to think that he or she can do something or should do something, but the body is not a button like on off. So really, there is no role for any preventive amphotericin or an antifungal to be put inside. You can't. You have to make sure your sugars are normal. That is the only and the only way to prevent mucormycosis. Understood, sir. So, um, another audience, uh, uh, Ms. Manisha Pandit Utkar. So, she is asking, what is the survival rate after a mucormycosis infection? And uh, after, you know, how, how do you take it forward? Yes, sir. So, in today's day, you know, a lot of literature is talking about, you know, more than 50% of the people will die and this and that. But that, that was all long, long ago. These reports are when technology was not good. And these reports are for pre-COVID era, mein, when people were getting mucor, these were the really immunocompromised. Over a period of time, their health was deteriorating. And in when they are really, really in bad health, as we know, this is when the other infections, fungus was, these were the patients. So all the data that you read on Google or whichever you see, is actually meant for those patients. Those over several months are unwell and their kidneys have failed, their sugars are out of control. So many other things. They're just weak. COVID times mucormycosis is not the same. It is affecting a 30-year-old, 50-year-old 50, uh, 50 who's otherwise very healthy. Temporarily, the immune system got hijacked by COVID. And that is when he got it. So now... Plus, this is one because they are not inherently unhealthy. This is like a like an accident that happened to their body. Two, there is a lot of technology. Now we are using MRI scans and very advanced PCR techniques to identify and diagnose the look at the fungus. So we are able to catch a specific mucor fungus or there are other funguses that are caught. So things are caught. The MRI gives you a Google map. So surgeon ja ke wo sab sare ke sare raste ko clean karta hai. And then the, amph the amphotericin works like magic on, on uh, mucor. But usko wahan pohunchne ke liye raasta chahiye. Agar wo raasta hum sahi bana denge, to 10 mein se ek patient ko bhi jaan gamane ki jurat nahi hai. That is the statistics. Uh, technically, we can bring the mortality down to even less than 10%. If we catch them early, uh, do the technologically advanced studies of their fungus, give them the appropriate surgical complete clearance, not namke was a little bit. There has to be a complete clearance of all the big and the small roads. And unfortunately, here that amphotericin, wo police wala jana chahiye. Sirf rasta kholke kya karenge? The, the, the robber will keep running if there is no police. So the amphotericin is the police van. And the uh, surgery is really clearing away. That is where, so currently we are in that handicap where the availability of amphotericin or the police van is far and few, unpredictable. And I hope 
by as we speak in the next 3 or 4 days that scene will be changed so i i want to say 10% or less in a in a well prepared patient yes thank you so that i think that would have given a lot of confidence uh, you know uh, for for the patients and uh, their family uh, but there is something a little bit more uh, interesting right uh, many people ask is mucormycosis contagious ghar mein ek ek ko aa gaya to hame bhi hoga ki nahi thank god it is not absolutely not you cannot catch it jaisa maine bola it is the host tumhare sharir ki rachna agar temporarily hijack ho gayi hai covid ki wajah se only then you get it covid you can get from one person to the other mucor like i said the, it is there in the air you and i are breathing mucor it's not like kisi aur ko hai to mere ko ho jayega tumhare sharir ka biochemistry agar badla usme badlav aata hai to hi aapko mucor ho sakta hai yes sir it's not contagious sorry i i gave it a long answer it is not contagious one person cannot catch it from the other person yes sir so um, you know in the recent time in the newspaper and all the other articles and google we read a lot about uh, you know getting uh, black fungus from oxygen concentrators or you know sharing cylinders and etc or or from you know oxygen masks and etc so what is your thought about it sir because you are in the field you are looking at patients on so, these cases so all that is i call it ye jo apne khud ki sharir ki rachna badalti hai it is a host you are the host there are changes in the host that are the only scientifically proven or a oxygen cylinder humidifier industrial oxygen these are all ghost factors ye hai nahi sachi this is all uh, speculation uh, the human mind wants to rightly so that is how science advances iski wajah se ho sakta hai kya rule out but there is no science to this you do not get it from it's not a question of hygiene it's not a question ki aapko hua matlab udhar ke staff ne kuch saaf nahi kiya wo oxygen cylinder galat tha not at all it comes down to sugar sugar and sugar there is nothing else that uh, can cause you the thing least of all these uh, so called unhygienic oxygen cylinders yes sir or the tubings or whatever definitely not sir pehle aapne bola tha ki you know ek tarah ka mitti chahiye ये ये इन्फेक्शन होने के लिए देयर सम सम सपोज सपोज बी सॉर्ट ऑफ लाइक सॉइल और सम इंग्रेडिएंट दैट इज रिक्वायर्ड सो वन ऑफ आर यू नो ऑडियंस मिस प्रियंका त्रिपाठी शी इज आस्किंग देयर इज लॉट ऑफ आर्टिकल्स अबाउट जिंक टैबलेट्स प्लेइंग अ रोल इन यू नो इन्फ्लुएंसिंग द द म्यूकोरमाइकोसिस टू कम एनी एनी थॉट्स अबाउट इट सर देयर इज ओनली आई थिंक वन थ्योरी दैट केम केम फॉरवर्ड बिकॉज दी कंजम्पन ले सब पहले के वे में सब लोग अपना जिंक खाओ विटामिन सी खाओ ये खाओ वो खाओ करके सबको लगा वो पे फोन इम्यूनिटी वाला अपन चलाने वाले जस्ट लाइक इट डिड नॉट डू यू एनी गुड इट इज नॉट गोइंग टू डू यू एनी बैड इधर ये जो मल्टी विटामिन सॉरी मैं बहुत फ्रेंडली इसमें बोलता हूँ ये सिर्फ अपने खुद की पेशाब महंगी करने की दवाइयाँ है जितना तुम खाते हो वो पेशाब से निकल जाता है यू आर जस्ट मेकिंग यूर यूरिन एक्सपेंसिव by taking all this body is not that fragile it's not that delicate ki do cheez dal diya to ekdam superman ban gaya it's not like that there is far more to life and overall fitness or overall good health is what matters and taking zinc or not taking zinc does not make you either protected against or uh, vulnerable to covid or to mucor understood sir so is there any um, you know there are a lot of talk about you know you should keep your immunity boost boost your immunity right uh, any advice on that segment because this is open uh, is an open question that everybody has everybody asks in, even in google how do i improve my immunity to prevent covid or flu or my cause please don't look for that red blue green pill that is a magical pill wo khaya ki main superman ya superwoman ban gayi the best tool in life is your common sense Use your common sense. ऐसा कोई है नहीं जो आपको अंदर से समझता है ये चीज खाने से मुझे तकलीफ है नहीं है ओवरऑल हेल्थ को आप अच्छा रखो दैट इज अंडेक्स देर इज नो एक्सटर्नल इधर एडवाइस और पिल और समथिंग बेसिकली वॉट गिवस यू वॉट मेक्स यू फील एनर्जेटिक लिसन टू योर बॉडी हर एक की बॉडी अलग है किसी को सवेरे नाश्ते में ज्यादा खाने से अच्छा लगता है किसी को अंडा खाने से सवेरे दिन भर अच्छा लगता है ऐसा नहीं है कि फॉर्मूला की सभी लोगों ने सवेरे इतना ही खाना चाहिए 
लिसन टू योर बॉडी इट टेल्स यू गो बाई इट्स नेचुरल इंस्टिंग जो हंगर आता है दीज आर आई थिंक द मंत्रास नथिंग एल्स इम्यूनिटी कैनॉट बी मेजर्ड सो इट कैनॉट बी बूस्टेड और कैनॉट बी डैम्पेड बाय एन एक्सटर्नल थिंग पहले ये समझना बहुत जरूरी है कि इम्यूनिटी ऐसा कोई टांकी नहीं है जिसमें कोई डालो तो भर गई अभी अभी बैटरी डाउन हो गया इम्यूनिटी इज मोर बट अनफॉर्चुनेटली आई हैव अ फेमस सेइंग दैट कॉमन सेंस इज सोल्यूबल इन पैनिक जब भी आप बहुत डर जाते हो तभी आपका कॉमन सेंस काम करना बंद हो जाता है एंड मिस्ट्री इज द मदर ऑफ पैनिक वेन यू डोंट अंडरस्टैंड समथिंग उस वक्त फियर आता है फियर से पैनिक आता है मगर ये अंडरस्टैंडिंग को आपको सही पर्सन चूज करना चाहिए जो जो ये ये कॉन्टेक्स्ट में एक आपका डॉक्टर है सो वंडरफुल एग्जांपल सर सॉल्युबिलिटी ऑफ कॉमन सेंस ड्यूरिंग पैनिक इट्स पैनिक यस इट्स यस सर सो सो देयर आर यू नो मेनी पीपल हु हैव अ कॉमन क्वेश्चन कैन ब्लैक फंगस बी ट्रीटेड एट होम इज इट इवन पॉसिबल सर नो it cannot be treated because the first step of the treatment is a surgical debridement jo tissue aapka kharab ho gaya hai usko chhota sa ya bada operation karke hatana bahut zaruri hai like i said unless the road is cleared of all the stones and the debris the police van cannot go this injection amphotericin b is not a very simple injection ye apne roz ke dawa khane mein jaake lene wala injection hai nahi this has to be diluted uska ek particular formula hai ये लगभग जैसा आपने कैंसर के पेशेंट को कीमोथेरेपी के बारे में सुना रहेगा उसका समझो ये पोता है या सबसे छोटा भाई है इट हैज टू बी गिवन विद लॉट ऑफ कॉशन इट हैज टू बी गिवन और लॉन्ग पीरियड ऑफ टाइम तीन चार घंटे चलता है ये इंजेक्शन ये चलते वक्त पेशेंट को बहुत सारे तकलीफ हो सकते हैं बहुत लोगों को बुखार जैसा आ सकता है उनके किडनी पे असर होता है तो रोज किडनी का किडनी के ऊपर ध्यान रख के तो ये एम्फोट्रेसिन uh, इंजेक्शन बहुत अच्छा है मगर बहुत भयंकर भी है ये घर में लेने का सवाल ही नहीं आता है जब भी आपको 10 दिन के बाद इंजेक्शन से गुण आ गया और जब भी आपको गोली पे जा, जाना है वो पोसा कैनोजॉल करके गोली है सो द स्टेप डाउन ट्रीटमेंट कैन बी डन एट होम बट नॉट इंजेक्शन एम्फोट्रेसिन आई वॉन्ट टू से देर आर थ्री डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ एम्फोट्रेसिन ये भी एक बोलना बहुत जरूरी है एक तीन अलग अलग प्रकार के एक जो है जो सबसे अच्छा है और क्या अच्छा है उसके बताऊंगा वो लगभग साढ़े सात आठ हजार रुपए का आता है उसका सस्ते वाला भाई जो है वो दो सौ सवा दो सौ रुपए का आता है तो बहुत बार पूछते हैं कि क्यों डॉक्टर महंगी दवाई लिख रहे हैं वाई आर यू राइडिंग एक्सपेंसिव वन बिकॉज द चीप वन इज एज इफेक्टिव बट इन द सेकेंड और द थर्ड डे इट विल डैमेज योर किडनी और वो जो डैमेज है ऑलरेडी पेशेंट कोविड में है ऑलरेडी इसके शरीर में इतना अत्याचार हुआ है ऑन एवरी द कोविड हैज क्रिएटेड अ लॉट ऑफ हैवॉक इन लॉट ऑफ ऑर्गन्स तो डॉक्टर्स कैन नॉट टेक अ चांस विद देयर किडनीज देयर इज सो मच गोइंग ऑन सो इन दिस कोविड एरा वन हैज टू बी मैक्सिमली केयरफुल इन एनी ड्रग दैट अ डॉक्टर इज गिविंग इसलिए हम लाचार है कि दैट वी नीड दैट बिकॉज वी डोंट वॉन्ट अभी कोविड से बाहर निकले म्यूकोर का तकलीफ हो गया अभी नाउ टू इंड्यूस अ किडनी प्रॉब्लम पेशेंट को जिंदगी पर डायलिस लगे वो नहीं होना चाहिए दैट इज व्हाई वी आर स्टक ऑन दैट लाइपोसोमल एम्फोट्रेसिन बी अंडरस्टूड सर सो वी हैव अनदर ऑडियंस क्वेश्चन वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एंड लिटिल यूनिक क्वेश्चन इज एम्फोट्रेसिन बी सेफ ड्यूरिंग प्रेगनेंसी एंड लैक्टेशन ओह ओके so i don't know the exact answer to that honestly i have not yes. faced that situation but we'll need to find out and get back if you have a number but her gynecologist for surely will know because because you know the the status of the drugs the doctors who actually treat because i am an ent doctor so i'm not very sure but i reckon it should be safe in the third trimester not in the first two yes sir so, um as you mentioned there are two parts to the treatment of mucormycosis one is a surgery then there is a the treatment right uh, we know you know what is happening in the surgery uh, you know what are the possible side effects but when we are uh, uh, looking at the treatment for mucormycosis right with amphotericin b you already mentioned about the kidney as uh, kidney uh, uh, as a side effect kidney might have a side effect on it is there anything else that other than uh, the kidney effects on the kidney no not really 
there is no other organ that is specially this thing it's really the the nephrotoxicity there are other drugs which can cause some pressure on the liver but uh, not amphotericin b okay thank you sir so there is a talk about uh, you know yellow fungus right uh, there is a little bit of talk on yellow fungus if you can throw some light on that uh, it will be great so so these are, are coming up now the rainbow fungus as we uh, in talk and we have a very good microbiologist friend and she says no you'll see a whole rainbow now so but i i really don't think like i said there there are they come with very funny names which even most clinician doctors candida aspergillosis this are i think for the general public i don't think they should delve into all these these are because there are too many diseases that can affect you but just suddenly because what happens is the moment we started talking of black fungus anybody with a little black spot on the tongue any black spot on the, it creates panic they suddenly rush going to the doctor not getting an appointment two three days so all these are very rare things they happen in very select patients who are gone little bit where their health is a little bit compromised at that particular phase so i don't think in a forum forum like this i want to assure them that these don't really just attack you like crazy so forget the white forget the yellow forget the the other ones but the the names come from what color they change what what how they start looking like you know a simple ringworm thing looks like a light patch light pigmentation so different colors are attributed to how they affect the body parts yes sir so is there any other misconceptions about uh, uh, you know black or white fungus or yellow fungus that you can think of or you have come across uh, that you would like to share with the audience uh, no i i there is an integral part when when people see there is a lot of this surgery two things about this surgery i told you that uh, the fungus blocks the roads so a surgeon can only go and clear the roads that he sees blocked one on the mri which ideally has to be done within 24 hours because if you have done an mri and operate after 5 days many other roads will have got blocked so the timing of doing the mri scan is very important surgically uh, it should be a within 24 hours ideally maximum 48 hours otherwise the picture changes two is the surgeon can clear only the roads that he or she sees during surgery uh, to clear away there is not unusual that maybe 10% or 20% of times that the patient may need a second surgery because these roads were not shut down yet but they were partially shutting down and these you can't because when the doctor goes there he tries to scratch them and if there's blood coming from there that is a healthy tissue so he comes back but we've had cases where we've had to go the second time because some other area now went bad so this is something which you must understand it does not mean that the surgery first surgery was not done either completely or properly so impending necrosis is beyond science the mri cannot catch it the human eye even with the sophisticated camera cannot catch it we have of course understood much more how to anticipate we have brought in technology of dopplers to study not just rely on the visual so this is the surgical part in the surgery there is a lot of morbidity that is coming you know a uh, eye going blind uh, creates a lot of evokes a lot of sympathy in us but my heart goes more for people who lose their teeth and who lose their palate because they are not able to eat or swallow for almost a month there has to be a tube through their nose uh, and they have to be fed the food there are people who have lost both the sides of the heart palate they are not able to speak the speech becomes like this because there is no resonance and these patients are going to need minimum of three surgeries later on in the entire year to slowly start building up so there is a lot of morbidity lot of suffering which these patients are uh, will have to undergo of course we will do our very best to keep the the surgical and the financial trauma to the minimum thank you sir so there is an another interesting question um, is do does anybody who has had my you know mucormycosis need to plan about their vaccine uh, should can they do it immediately or after or any guidance that you can think of 
So because this typically happens uh, in the post COVID in that, you know, the, uh, it starts from day eight or 10 of COVID and goes on till maybe day 40 to 50. Anyway, you're not eligible or you should not be taking a vaccine that once you get COVID, I think the guidelines say you have to wait minimum three months before you take the vaccine, which is making it 100 days. So anyway, mucor or no mucor, you have to wait for post-COVID. Because you anyway have antibodies, so it does not make sense to take the vaccine. Yes, sir. Now, there is again one more myth, sir. Uh, um, I think you also spoke something about inhaling steam, right? W would that be a trigger or, or a starting point for uh, a black or black fungus? No, not at all. Not at all. I know there was some, somebody who proposed and, you know, this kind of uh, heat and this and that. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Right. There's nothing that you do or you don't do. There is nothing that you can put or not put in your nose. That can, uh, the best analogy here I want to give is, let's say there's a lot of dusty wind going on 24 by 7, 24 hours in a day, and you have a mirror there uh, and you want to clean the mirror. If you clean the mirror for two minutes, do you think the mirror is going to be clean? The next 23 hours and 58 minutes, the dust is coming in. Even if you theoretically assume that the steam while you are taking it is killing the COVID virus or whatever, if you theor which is not true. But how, like if I wash my hands for two minutes in the morning for the next 24 hours, are they going to remain clean? <laughs> no. So this steam, first of all, does not kill any of the bacteria, the virus or the fungus. So it's just a very, uh, because it comes from the air, you want to do something. And because we believe steam kills so many other animals that we know of, that it is going to kill. Not for sure not. Neither does it cause any damage or make your nasal lining more vulnerable to either catch a COVID or a fungus. Yes, sir. So, um, so one of, I think it'd be a very uh, mundane question, but it will be a very important question for more, uh, you know, uh, for majority of the audience, which is a specialist that, uh, that they should approach in case they suspect about uh, about uh, black fungus infection. So the so the the main person who will diagnose your uh, mucor actually will be your ENT doctor. Uh, they may present because it it is always always present in the ENT area. It may present with a blindness and go to an eye doctor because the patient does not realize it is there. But it is always there. So this is not no compromise. In every patient, you will have the nose and the sinuses involved. The eye doctor, if there is vision problem, or the dental doctor. But now, unfortunately, the dental doctor cannot reach the sinuses. He, will, he or she will clear the palate and the alveolus. But the main epicenter of mucor is actually in a room which is hidden behind your sinuses. It is not even a sinus disease. It is a tiny room, which is where it is called as a pterygo palatine fossa. And actually that is the epicenter. That is the traffic junction where these roads are all going. And that's where it starts. And from there, it may affect one service road or it may affect a highway or it may affect a small bylane. Yes, so sir. an ENT doctor needs to be because he's the one who studies the MRI. Yes, sir. So uh, we have another... Um, uh, you know, uh, audience who's asked, does mucor mycosis affect the tongue? Because no. we know it, it it affects the, you know, the tooth, the palate and etc. How about the tongue, sir? So no, uh, fortunately, no tongue. The tongue has its blood supply. The, 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 the roadways which go to the tongue do not travel through the sinuses. They come from the neck directly down there. There's an occasional patient in the whole of the state uh, who's lower jaw. This is actually about the upper jaw. Mucor commonly, if at all, affects the upper teeth. Almost never the lower teeth. But there are an occasional patients that spread out, probably a handful in whom even the lower jaw has got affected. So it is the, the, the jaw, the upper jaw in 98 or 99% of the cases, not the lower jaw and definitely never the tongue. Yes, sir. I think uh, 
I think uh, we are also reaching the end of uh, this uh, session and uh, it was really wonderful, sir. Uh, you gave us some beautiful insights. Um, I think if I would summarize, um, if you have COVID, follow your sugar levels daily. Ensure that you, know, you control it. It's just not following. You have to control it. If you're a COVID positive patient who is recovering with high sugar levels, I think you should visit your doctor frequently to have checkups to see if there is any more infections going to happen. If you have any suspicion of the signs and symptoms that uh, Dr. Ashish had mentioned, I think you should immediately approach your uh, you know, concerning or treating doctor or a nearby ENT specialist who should be able to um, you know, treat you. Um, and thank you, doctor, for you know clearing many of the myths, right? And and the mm -hmm. treatments of two segments which you have clearly given. The segment one is debridement or remove the the stones from the road, clear it, get the traffic in, get the police in, chase the you know robber which is the uh, fungus and get it treated. It's such a wonderful way of uh, you know putting it, uh, uh, you know, doctor. And we really appreciate you giving your time uh, from your busy schedule for the audience here and uh, uh, and Prakto and the team at Prakto really thanks you and gives our gratitude to you and uh, any final words from you sir no thank you don't be scared don't be afraid of this uh, act promptly like everything else in life I don't think uh, illnesses are also about how you take decisions in life to go ahead be very prompt don't neglect it don't procrastinate over it. It is better to rule out three times rather than to ignore one time. I think that is what COVID is teaching us because we have to confess as medical professionals, we are only learning what damages this COVID is doing. It is a completely new entity. All that we believed in is slowly coming under a magnifying lens and we are recalibrating as is the nature of science. I mean, what was good today may not be good tomorrow. But the, the, the duty of a scientist and the medical mind is to accept the change and adapt to the change. But where the general public is concerned, not to be scared of this, the media sort of, like I said, my punch, last punchline would be common sense is soluble in panic. Please do not go into the panic mode and don't start imagining things. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, everybody, for joining today and making this uh, event a success. Once again, thank you from Prakto, uh, Dr. Ashish. So thank all you. of you have a great day ahead. Thank you. Thank you, Ajay. Thank you. We're closing the session. Bye-bye.